My friend and Campbell have joined us. So we're here with Lila, Campbell, and Max. Hi. Making chip clips. And before we get into the design part of our chip clip, we want to talk about designs, okay? So when you think about um, different designs, right? You have circles. You can just write right on this paper, right? You've got circles. Lines. Oh, you've got, yeah, you've got lines. Um, oh, that's interesting. You've got, um, what else? Circles, lines. Uh, zigzag. Zigzag. Triangles. Zigzag. Or triangles. Right. And triangles. Okay. And you've got uh, dots, right? Dots. Like, like the half moon kind of. Ooh, half moons. Good ones. You guys are coming up with some awesome ones. Like a squiggly line. Squiggly. <laughs> so to get started, you're going to paint a clothespin one color. And you just want to get full coverage there. You're going to probably need to paint it in a couple different stages because you will need some resting place so the clothespin can rest and then you'll flip it over and paint the other side. These ones I painted this morning so they're all ready for the designs. And the design is the fun part. So, you would create a little palette. You could, I'm just using a sheet of plasticky paper. You could use um, anything with a slick surface as your palette. Are you supposed to paint the metal? Yeah, it's kind of sure. Better. You can paint the metal. You, you don't have to paint the metal, but you can paint the metal. I did, just because it was easy. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yep. Just do organic shapes, right? Good one, Lila. Yeah, just like, just shapes that are any shape, just organic. And then, um, so within these designs that you guys have all called out, um, you, can, you can mix and match them, right? To do your designs. So that's what I did on our chip clips. I just mixed and matched circles, rectangles, dots, and half moons with paint. And what then you have fabulous designs. Were you trying to make so, the bubbles thing? Yes, I was. So, I've just got a little palette here. Oh, and then you use the sticks to make those tiny little. Yeah, so um, you're gonna use the skewer, it's gonna be your best friend. And these toothpicks are gonna be your best friend. So you can dip your toothpick in and here you create lines. And it's very, it's very detailed. Just take your time. Okay. You can create any kind of. So here we've got a skinny line. Now if we wanted a fat line, of course we would take a little brush. A little brush that looks like a little square. Right? So if we wanted a thick line, Okay. Or could you still use the stick, but just put it down and pull? Oh yeah. So once you have some ideas for your designs and shapes, then you want to think about your paint colors, right? And when you do your paint colors, you want to think about giving it highlights and lowlights. Like this. So the whites and the blacks. Yep. Like that one's perfect. Yeah, because that's what makes your painting really pop out. So if you were to do your your basic color and then add your highlight along in some way you can add it with a dot you can add it with a line Bye, wave. Bye.